Hey guys, yeah, it's me, uh, your favorite comedian uh, from Slovenia ever. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> I am uh, actually from Slovenia. It's great to be in London without my girlfriend. What? Who said that? Um, <laughs> The interest from my uh, previous relationship, because uh, it's uh, a <laughs> silence. Um, usually, when, these days, I think it's really hard to find true love. Usually, we have this bizarre plan, guys. When we go out like this tonight, we go out. You have this bizarre plan. It's like drink a little bit, meet women, take one home. So it's like that's the, just the, the theory. In reality, it's more like we drank too much, we harassed women, we had a kebab. It's always the kebab. <laughs> So it's, it's so silly. It's always when you eat the kebab, the conversations are so intellectual. It's always like, ah, oh, that girl was hot. <laughs> the other guy is always like, yeah, yeah, she wanted me. <laughs> but I'm tired. I'm always I'm so tired. So, so I am from uh, this little country called Slovenia. Uh, if you, I don't know if you follow news, you probably heard we managed to infiltrate into the White House. Uh, we did it through our very own Melania Trump. Yes, she's from Slovenia. She's Slovene. She's not human. She's a robot. She was designed to infiltrate the White House. Who's in charge now, bitches, huh? We're in charge, yeah, so it's, uh, yeah, you're talking with the man. Um, no, but uh, as you can see, my jokes are very intelligent. Um, I am quite famous in Slovenia. Um, no, recently I was voted top artist most likely to emigrate. So it's, uh, it's amazing. I, uh, any Slovenians in? Uh, I've got three fans, actually. They, they follow me everywhere, and they just... And they're just so ashamed now. Um, <laughs> but Slovenians are always, we used to be part of this big country called Yugoslavia. Uh, but, you know, we were like a boy band. It's always like with boy bands, there's, you know, trouble. We were just like a, a federation assembled by Simon Cowell. Just uh, like, take that, you know, just, you know, there's always trouble when you have guys like that. So we had this huge, horrible war in the 90s. But Slovenia, we were the first to get out. We were like Robbie Williams, you know, we were just like, let's get drunk. <laughs> Where is drugs? Let's take drugs. So, but, but the war was horrible. We, um, um, I was eight, eight at the time when the war started. Slovenia was really lucky. We only had ten days of war. I was eight. I was watching cartoons. It was Sunday. I remember watching cartoons. And my grandma, she was, she came in because this guy came because uh, in the 90s it was just cartoons on Sunday. It was like from eight to ten. That's it. So that you were like, you're waiting for it. You were just like, oh, cartoons. I gotta go. It's cartoons. You would get up at five. You know, just like get cartoons. And then this guy appears and he's like, everybody go to your basement. And I was like, no, cartoons. Sunday. What? Go back and my grandma was like we gotta go i was like no i'm not gonna how he-man what? what i need to find out what's happening what happens with he-man so uh but we because my grandma she lived uh, in a city where there's a, a nuclear power plant the only power plant in this part of uh, europe and they threatened to bomb the power plant which would just wipe half of europe but uh in order to save us from potential radiation they gave us gas masks <laughs> like that's really gonna help you know it's just like oh radiation I'm safe now. <laughs> but actually, our whole family got one gas mask. That was like my grandma, because I was staying with my grandma. Uh, it was just like one gas mask. And I was watching it and I was just thinking, who's gonna wear it? It should be me, I'm the future. <laughs> so definitely me. But then grandpa, he fought the Nazis, so mm, mm, mm. But, but grandma, she's the only one who can cook, so you know. <laughs> We're dead anyway, if she, yeah, yeah, so it's, uh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> it's a strange applause, just, he's trying. Uh, no, but the thing is that a friend of mine, because kids are talking, and then a friend of mine told me that radiation travels 100 miles per hour. So I thought, like, if we could get in the car and travel 110 kilometers per hour, we would escape, just be like, let's go, let's go, and radiation being this big dust cloud, just, ah, and we just like, go, Grandpa, go. Grandpa, this is a Yugo from the 90s. You know. It doesn't go more than 100. Oh, shit. So, so. Stories from Yugoslavia. Are <laughs> but Sweden's are now, we're fine. We're just friends now. We're like cousins. We don't like each other, but we just, you know, we like, we saw, we see each other. We were just, uh, last night we were in Belgrade. Uh, so Serbia is doing well. They have Novak Djokovic and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> and Croatia, they have, you know, it's good. Everybody's doing well. Uh, <laughs> It's, it's all right, uh, but Sweden is now. Uh, we're always famous for skiing. We love winter sports. Now uh, the Winter Olympics are coming in, in January. The, the last Winter Olympics were in Russia. I was hoping the Russians would do something crazy at the opening ceremony. Imagine, like a grandma, she would, you know, grandma would come with a fire, and then suddenly out of her would come a smaller lady. And then out of her, a smaller lady. 
and then the, the tiniest lady at the end, the end, she would say something sweet like, fuck America. Uh, give me vodka, what is this? Uh, no, but uh, of course you probably all know that Slovenia has a world champion in the best sport in the world, you know, right? I'm talking, of course, I'm talking about hammer throw, right? Right? I can sense your jealousy. Uh, hammer throwing is the best in the world. Everybody plays it. Every Sunday we go to the park, throw hammers. Yeah, that's just... But it's a job, you know, this guy's job is to spin around and then throw things. That's his job. That's gotta affect his life, you know. Imagine he's got kids. They're probably like, Daddy, spin me around. Ooh. I'd rather not. Um, we all remember what happened the last time. A world record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. High five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we all miss your brother. Yeah. A bit dark. That was that. Thank you. Good audience. Um, that loves kids. You know, we just yeah, we just love throwing kids. Um, but all my friends have kids now. Uh, it's hard to have kids because. I saw a mother yelling at her son. She was in the middle of the park. She was like, why are you kicking sand? What? What's wrong with you? So it's like, what's wrong with you? Why are you kicking sand? Like he's gonna have a reasonable explanation. You know? <laughs> like he's gonna go, why? Let me introduce my argument. <laughs> I'm uh, kicking sand because I'm four. I'm four years old. Uh, it's something I love to do. You know, it's my generation loves it. It's uh, good for your body and your soul. It helps with stress. Uh, you, know, you just you kick it and it, you know, rolls, rolling stones, all right? Yeah. Yeah, so, and you never see me asking questions. You never see me go, ooh, why are you drinking again? <laughs> when will I meet daddy? No. <laughs> some things are just, some things are have to be left and asked. Thank you. <laughs> so just the Slovenians are starting their blouses. 